Hello everyone, I'm really sorry to have to sniff and splutter my way through this video, but I do have a cold. Um, but I just wanted to start sharing my December daily with you. So this was just me showing you page one, which I actually completed on my Patreon. Um, I would love for you to become a patron, and if you are interested, then the link is always in the description of my videos. But as you can see from the title of this video, this is December daily, day two. And it's telling the story of me getting my master's degree results. And I passed my master's degree and I'm just so excited and I wanted to document that, obviously. Um, so I'm just printing some photos now on my Canon selfie. Um, and one of the photos I will use for day three. I don't like to waste paper, so I'm printing them both out at the same time. Um, but I had a bit of an issue with <laughs> trying to print these out, so... It took me a little while, but I use the Canon Selfie apps on my phone these days to get my photos together in a layout or just to decide how I want them to look. Um, and then I print uh, from my phone to my Canon Selfie, which is really handy. Um, it took a minute to connect to the internet and the app was being a bit glitchy, so um, it did take me a minute. But eventually my photos did appear. As you can see, I did get my pictures and um, all was well. So um, as you'll have seen from the picture of day one at the beginning of this video, and if you're a patron, you'll have seen that process video, um, I kept it really, really simple. So I'm just looking through a couple of these titles uh, that I have. Um, I think some of them are from a crepe paper collection, maybe. Some of them are maybe from a pink paisley collection. I really can't remember, but um, I was just having a look through to see if there was anything that might make a nice title whilst keeping things really simple and clean. Um, so I went for Joy to the World in the end, and I'm going to put it on the back of this um, vellum number piece that I had for day one. Um, and I actually kind of like how it looks from the other side so obviously you can kind of see the ghost of that one through uh, the vellum and on the other side you can kind of see the ghost of the joy to the world and I kept sort of having a look to make sure that I didn't mind how it looked and honestly I, I think it looks quite nice um, I like being able to sort of see through to the next page um, so I went with this title because I was so overjoyed when I got my results yesterday I just can't even describe how happy I was it was absolutely amazing and I did film a little bit of my reaction for my weekly vlog so you'll see that in the next weekly vlog but I was just so over the moon so joy to the world even though it's a Christmas sentiment and it's a religious sentiment isn't it um it just seemed like a nice title to put here because it was I was so overjoyed um and I decided that I wanted to put a little star sequin above that joy to the world just to add something a little different I guess put pop a star on there I really like stars especially during the festive season and I was actually fighting with some glue off camera right now and my nail snapped off so that's why it's taking me so long so I cut out quite a bit of what came before this but I had to trim my photos and I basically had a bit of a nightmare trimming down this email. It's a screenshot of the email I received yesterday with my results and you can see that other picture there um, of my little chocolate reindeer in front of the tree. That's actually um, a photo for day three but I printed them out at the same time and I, I trimmed that one. That was fine. That came out at three by four because uh, I intended to trim this email screenshot a little bit smaller but then I just didn't like how it looked on the card there was too much of a border around the edge it was just a weird shape so I backed it with a little bit of this gold uh, spot tissue paper that came in the most recent lollipop box club um, as part of the packaging and um, I decided to put a little border of the polka dots around that and then layer that up on the card and I immediately liked how that looked a lot better uh, but I still thought that there was maybe too much of um, that border and I wanted to make all of the layers visible if that makes sense so I trimmed a little bit off and I was finally happy with how it looked after that but as you can see I really went back and trimmed this over and over and over again but I did like how it looked in the end you could see the blue and white stripe through the tissue paper um but there was also that gold spot there and it added a little bit of texture because obviously it's a different material and it tied in with the gold of the Joy to the World title. So I just felt like it was a good idea all round. And it added something a little bit different. Like I say, it added that texture. Um, so yeah, even though it came from doing something wrong, it turned out okay in the end, thankfully. Um, and I did want to add a little bit of embellishment to that 
card. Um, so I was looking at the Merry Days 6x12 sticker sheet from Crate Paper and there was a little semicircle that said Merry Merry. Uh, so I stuck that on there as well as a little gold star and um, I felt like that was enough embellishment really. Like I said, I'm keeping it very simple. Over the last couple of years, my scrapbooking in general has really simplified and I'm so much happier with how things are turning out. Um, I think I showed it in a vlog recently. I am nearly done with my 2019 project life, which is unbelievable considering how behind I was before. And it's purely down to the fact that I just have been keeping it so simple. So we are nearly at the end already. Um, I have this little envelope tucked into that bottom left pocket and I wanted to keep my journaling in there. Um, and it's very similar to day one in that the journaling is hidden, but it's not really intentional. I just feel like it makes the album a bit more interactive. There's nothing in here that I don't necessarily want people to read. It's just that it, it makes it more interesting, doesn't it? That people have to sort of go through the album and take things out and find the journaling and stuff if they want to. Um, so I picked out a tag from my stash and I wrote my journaling. I stamped the date, added a little bit of washi tape. Um, these tapes are from Pink Paisley, I think. Is it Pay? No, it's Pebbles, sorry. Um, it's a collection from Pebbles. I bought the set while I was in New York. And then I just popped some red and white Christmassy twine through the tag. I don't know about you, but I can never have a tag without twine. I have to put something through it, otherwise it just doesn't feel finished. Um, but yeah, then I just tucked the uh, tag inside that envelope. And I used a sticker from that Merry Days 6x12 sticker sheet. Um, and I think it says cheer on it or something, as in like Christmas cheer. And I just tried out a few different ways of having that envelope in the pocket. And I decided I liked it so that the cheer was the right way up. And that is it. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.